Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. So, I haven't done a pickups video in a while, and I just happened to today come across a pretty good amount of video games at Walmart, as well as some really cool gifts from some friends of mine. I'm not going to include Mortal Kombat 2 on the 32X and Mortal Kombat Gold because on the uh, Dreamcast, because I had done a video prior about those. Thank you to my buddy Justin for those. So, this was at Walmart today. Need for Speed The Run on 360. It's loose in the case. Guess how much? Three cents. Walmart is clearancing out games, and this was three cents. Dune 3 BFG Edition, Xbox 360 with Xbox One compatibility. Three cents. I have it already, so I'm not going to keep this one. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare, Xbox 360 with the Xbox One compatibility again, three cents. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe on 360, again, three cents. I actually got two copies of that. Two copies of Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition on PS3. I don't know why the light is so bad. Three cents each. And I pretty much picked all those up as things to sell or trade so that I can get something I want. I figured for 27 cents it was worth it for the seven games or however much it is. Um, 21 cents plus tax. So I also got as a gift from my good buddy Eric, Code Vein. And uh, this is pretty good. It's similar to Dark Souls, but very anime-like. And um, we like it, but there are some things about it we don't like. So I enjoy it, and I'm very appreciative that he sent me it and that I get to play it with him because most likely I'm going to let my Xbox Live lapse in May. So this may be our little last hurrah. And being Dark Souls fans and playing all those together, this is sort of apropos. I also picked up for, oh, I forgot one of my games over there. I also picked up at GameStop for $5, Lost Odyssey on Xbox 360. I had um, gotten pretty far in this years and years ago when I first had it, bought it and sold it again, and then uh, got it again now for 5 bucks. I have it on Xbox Gold, but as I said, if my subscription lapses in May, then I won't have it anymore, so maybe I'll eventually start this over and try again. My good buddy Chris from Wisconsin sent me spare copies he had of Far, Thri Far, Thri Far Cry 3 Classic Edition. I believe this is a, I want to say UK version, but the Xbox One is region free. I hear that this is excellent and the best Far Cry game, so I really look forward to playing this. It's like open world first-person shooter out in a jungle, so this looks very interesting. He also sent me, and it's over there, so I don't really want to get up and grab it and, like, get out of the camera's view. He sent me Gears of War 5, which uh, I played, I think, we loved 1 when it first came out, all my friends and I. I think I played 1 and 2, stopped, played a little bit of 3, a little bit of the other one, the side story one, and then I played through 4, and I did not like it. But I hear 5 is better than 4, and he sent it to me, and I really look forward to playing that with him again before Xbox Live lapses. And finally, I got this on eBay. It was a little more than I wanted to spend, but I really wanted to play it. I wanted it physically, and that is Shakedown Hawaii. I hope to do a little mini review about this soon. It's a very fun throwback retro title with a lot of little weird elements and a good sense of humor. So this is all my pickups for the past probably week, and um, I got some interesting stuff. So some other things that are on my radar, but they're just way too expensive for me, are Axiom Verge on the Wii U. It was like 40 or $50 when it was released by Limited Run, and now it's like 90 bucks on eBay, and that's just absurd. I have it on the computer. I got it for free from Epic Games a while ago, so I don't really play computer games, but maybe I'll just play it on that. My friend also told me he loaned me his Switch, and he has it digitally, I believe, on that as well. So maybe I'll play it like that and just not bother with the Wii U version. 
I really want Paprium on the Genesis, but again, the price jumping from $80 to now $130 for the new pre-orders is just crazy to me. It looks great, but and like up my alley, but just it's way too expensive. I'm kind of hoping they will do some maybe port and put it on the Dreamcast like they did with Pure Solar. I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll do that and charge 40, 50 bucks and I'll pick it up eventually, but I don't know. So yeah, these are my pickups. Guys, let me know if you've played any of these or if you've found any good deals at your Walmart for three cents. Thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.